Oh, he moved. Was gonna get it where he was laying all cute and stuff. Oh, here we go. He's laying cute again. Say hi, Casran. And he's precious. He's so precious. He's a good boy. So here's the deal. <clears throat> I'm vlogging and it's really awkward because um you don't usually talk to cameras on a daily a daily basis unless you do YouTube and stuff, which I've only done a few times, and the times I've done it, my sentences always turn out really choppy and awkward because it's like I'm not talking to a person, I'm talking to a camera. But, I've been thinking, it's like I've wanted to start a channel for a while anyway, and sometimes I feel like if you blog or vlog or, you know, I don't know, journal or something about a goal you're trying to achieve, it kind of helps you achieve that goal. And recently... I have gotten on that kick of eating a lot of fast food again, um, and I'm pregnant, so it's probably not the best idea. Beginning of my pregnancy, when I first found out, um, I basically stopped eating things altogether. It was just a little bit at a time. I ended up losing like seven pounds in the first trimester because I wasn't eating. And in that beginning, it's like I lost the taste for like my favorite fast foods because before I was pregnant. Whopper Juniors, my favorite thing in the whole world. <laughs> and I had cut down a lot on fast food within like the last year that I have been dating my boyfriend. And I was doing really good. And then after I became pregnant, it was even better because it's like, oh, maybe it's kind of good that I've lost my appetite for certain things because now I'm not eating horribly. Um, but in the last month or so, since I've gotten my appetite back, I've been eating fast food just a little bit here and there. And then it just kind of grew and just kept growing. And then I was, now I'm eating it like maybe three or four times a week, which isn't good. Um, and it's like, you know, at the daycare that I work at, they make food with like, um, they have their fruits, veggies, grains dairy and stuff because that's like the plan we have to feed our kids around so i'll eat there but a lot of the times i make an excuse like oh well there wasn't enough food for today for me or like oh i can't have that because i'm pregnant and stuff like that so then i use i make up these little excuses in my head to go out and go get myself wendy's on my break Sometimes Subway, but like the thing is with Subway is the only thing I would want is tuna, but I can only have a certain amount of tuna per week. So I've been eating really bad lately and you know after the holiday season you get pretty low on money so we haven't bought a lot of groceries lately. The groceries that we have bought is just like bread, milk, butter, cheese, and like boxed food and that's not good either. So this week, I've decided, will be our last week, at least for me. I know I know Seth's all about eating healthy, so probably his last week, too, of, like, getting fast food, like, all the time. Like, try to limit it to, like, once per week. Maybe none, you know? None per week. <laughs> um, but once per week at the most. Um, and I wanted to start uh, next Friday. Oh, no, not next Friday, because I work. <laughs> But next Saturday, I want to go out grocery shopping, probably to Aldi, and just start getting different fruits and vegetables, some whole grain stuff, um, maybe some low-fat milk and stuff like that, so I can start eating better during my pregnancy. Because my biggest concern, being pregnant, which it shouldn't be my biggest concern, but it is, um, my biggest concern is gaining too much weight. And it's like, I know, I'm 21... I'll usually, like, usually women will bounce back pretty quick when they're young. But, and like, you know, having a history of eating a lot of fast food, I've never really gained much. Yeah, I have a little bit of a pooch, you know, in my stomach, but the rest of me is skinny. But 
you know, being pregnant, you just kind of absorb all that stuff. And I hear a lot of the gain, the weight gain is within the last uh, few months of your pregnancy, and it's getting there. I'm 22 weeks now, almost 23, and I haven't noticed a lot of weight gain, but I don't want it to catch up with, for, ugh. I don't want it to catch up with me, and I figure it's like, since I would, like, I don't like exercising, so if I had to choose between cutting out, like, horrible fast food things out of my diet, or to uh, exercise, I would probably prefer to change up my diet because I don't like exercising. I'm not good at it. Like once in a while it's fine and plus being at the daycare and lifting up the kiddos and walking around a lot I think helps but on my weekends I just want to be lazy and if I'm going to be lazy I might as well be eating something that's not going to just build up inside me over the weekend so it's about time. It's like I start eating healthy anyway. It's been a long time coming and also it's like my daughter is gonna need all the nutrients she can get she can't get those nutrients from Whopper Juniors and those tasty fries and all the ranch and zesty sauce I have and my Dr. Pepper nope I gotta I gotta kick it into, into gear cuz I'm having her in four months and uh, it just feels like it's like I thought I had so much time like in the beginning of pregnancy you know because I've been putting off certain things like it's like Oh, I can do, I can plan this, you know, whenever, but now it's like, it's only four months away, and it's hard to believe that I'm already halfway through my pregnancy. So, yeah, but I figured it's like starting some kind of vlog where I can talk to people about my progress and stuff will motivate me more, because I am not very good at motivating myself whatsoever, and I feel like this will help. I don't know. People who uh, have vlogged or blogged, you know, to try to achieve a certain goal, let me know if this works for you because I feel like I feel like it just works better when you can talk to other people about it, when you have other people watching and kind of like supporting you and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, today is Monday. I think it's the 23rd and this will be my last week of the three times a week fast food eating, three or four times, probably more. It's going to be the last week of that, and this Saturday, I am going to go grocery shopping. I'm going to make a plan this week, maybe some meal plans, and I got to start eating healthy for me and for the baby, and, you know, just to be an overall better person, I guess. I'm a good person already, but, but I'm not a good eater. I'm not a good eater. So yeah, so I guess this is the beginning. So join me on my journey. I'll be posting these on YouTube and on Facebook. Well, I'll probably post on YouTube and then post the link on Facebook. So if you want to join me, subscribe to my channel. Um, I would really appreciate all the support you can give me and Seth too, because Seth has no idea that I'm planning this and making this video, but he's going to be happy about it because he likes seeing me motivated and he probably wants his daughter to be healthy too because I am not going to be feeding her fast food for like the first 200 years of her life. But yeah, and I'm so sorry if I'm awkward on camera. And like usually when I get into it later in video, I'm better about it. But um, early on in video, I'm just like, how do I start this? So yeah, and even ending it, which I'm about to know. So anyways, thanks for watching this, and hopefully you will support me on my, well, four-month four, four month journey until I have the baby and stuff, and possibly afterwards if, you know, if I'm still trying to achieve the goal of being healthier. Maybe I will decide to start working out. I don't know. I know Seth wants me to start doing that, and we both need should probably do that at some point. But anyways, thank you. Uh, see you in a future video, or whenever I see some of you people soon.